Well, hello, stranger. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. How's your summer? Hot. I know. It's so definitely hot. heating up. So hot. It's so hot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We went to the farmer's market yesterday. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's pretty fast. Oh, we got there at like 7. Oh, yeah. We were there at like 5. I was going to say, is it 5 to 9? Yeah. yeah. It was great. It was kind of deep. Oh, good. Awesome. I, yeah, I'm just like, I hope this one can hang on, that we can support oh, this one enough it. where yeah. it's like established and yeah, yeah it's very good. Thank you. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, we want to see baby. I want to see baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see baby. Oh, yeah. 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 Baby pictures. Yeah. 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 What's her name? Addison. Addison. Addison Ann. I love Anna Frank. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. I made reference to that movie just today. <laughs> this is her little Fourth of July. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, that's adorable. she's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> is this the natural resource? It is. Yes. We would like to extend it. Great. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Great. This is my daughter Elsie. Yeah, I'm Noelle Thomas, and we just want to know what you guys think. Okay. Oh, How did you hear about it, and like what? So, um, when you guys came to the Earth Day thing, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I talked to you there. I so, yeah. yeah. So, that was probably fun. Okay. Yeah. So, well, you had us. <laughs> Very cool. So, thanks for having us. Yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? I am 13. Okay. And so, you're going into eighth grade? Mm -hmm. Okay. What school is first? Okay. 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 I have a 13-year-old eighth grader going to Orange University. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could block my house for my house. So it's really easy. <laughs> you can just kind of like, I love it. Do you have like a specific area of focus that you're interested in as far as like natural resources? Disaster and climate. Oh, cool. Nice. So, yeah, that happens. Nice. So, nice. Hey, Quinn. 
I, I missed that. That sounds really interesting. Oh, just my class this fall that I'm. I, for natural disasters. Well, I it, I signed up for a because we were talking about earth state planning, and I signed up for a green infrastructure plan because they they dropped the class. They they're not doing it, so I had to find it. And so this is planning for natural disaster and <laughs> My son is like all yeah. about rail. He's like, why can't we get like super excited and just like build a rail? Um, so much right there. And go watch the YouTube videos of California's high speed rail project. Okay, that's nice. Okay, he's already like a cynical kid right now. So wow. <laughs> we're looking for well, rays of sunshine no, out no. there. It, it is being built. Yeah. But uh, it's probably going to cost triple what it is. So really? Billion yeah, well, that's the current projection. I'll probably estimate a $20 billion project will pull into $60 billion. So, I mean, you're talking about a main line from Los Angeles to San Francisco that runs 200 miles per hour. Yeah. And all the right of way alone that they have to acquire to make that work. Oh, my goodness. In California, it's already expensive. Yeah. And then there's just, you know, the engineering side of it. We, you know, Japan, Japan and China yeah. can do it way cheaper because they're used to doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where we haven't done a high speed, I don't know if there is any there on the East Coast. I don't think there's any that's 200 miles per hour. Yeah. And so, you know, in some ways we have to train and learn how to do what Japan has been doing for, you know, 30 years. Yeah. And so that adds and they cost. Do it well. mm -hmm. Adds a lot of cost. So, kind of interesting stuff. Some good videos on. Has anyone heard from Darren? You I am not sure if Darren is back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was uh, scheduled to come back in the future, actually. Uh, I might just check with him. Mm -hmm. so I have a him. But uh, are we ready to get rolling? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Uh, do we know if Debbie is going to join us? Uh, I'm so excited <laughs> that we are here together. I know. I missed last wow. month, and it just uh, so much is happening in all of your lives. And I'm thrilled that you're back, Rachel. Thank you. Can you give us? Uh, can we start with an update from a you? Update? Yes, <laughs> I. <laughs> So, just share your screen, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally did that last night at planning commission. <laughs> Here's a picture of Addison. She's three months old now. Wait, wait, rolling over. Wait, 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 wait. I they should yeah. I said that. Yeah. 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 She's, she's gorgeous. She's happy. <laughs> last night. <laughs> And, and you're not sleeping. sleeping. Mm -hmm. no. So I can have three times a night. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. She's so patriotic. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come back to work with it, okay? Some yeah, it's going. <laughs> yeah. How long did you get back? About a month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really used to it. Yeah. Used to it. Getting used to slack up to mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of hearts. Okay. Right. Speak different nation. Yeah. Yeah. Just so happy to be back. Yeah. Well, Matt did a good job while you were away. We appreciate you stepping in that. Um, but it's nice to have both. That's for sure. Uh, it's wonderful. And um, have you introduced yourselves to the rest of the team here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And are, are, are you here for particular agenda items? Or things you have to... No. Elsie is just really interested in saving the planet, okay. all of those things. So we thought we'd come and learn what we're seeing. Natural resources. Thank you so much. Where do you go? We're in North Arm. I know we're by your church. We were in, I'm assuming you're talking about Debbie, right? Mm -hmm. We were in her ward before she moved. She, she, she was across the street from us. Oh, and, and then she moved to the same So, Elsie, tell us a little bit about what you do professionally. 
and, and, uh, and uh, what your interests are. Do you go to school? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not very far. <laughs> 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 Are you in high school? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you're a parent, so. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here. Um, again, my name is Glenn Meekham, and uh, glad to, to have you join us. And, uh, this, today our meeting is going to be some updates and a discussion on some of the things we want to use. So our first agenda item is an update on Heritage Park and Conservation Spaces. Uh, Paula is going to turn the time over. Do you on that, and then Hillary, I include conservation spaces because you introduced the idea of butterfly garden. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to give oh, you space to to uh, read your discussion if you'd like. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So I've got some plans we can try to share. I've only got three, sorry. Is everyone familiar with what Heritage Park is? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. This is the water tank. And, and, and you recently went to a right? Yeah, it was uh, May 5th, so I guess it wasn't super recently anymore, but it, um, it seems recently, time flies. Uh, so this was a meeting uh, that Darren was actually originally invited to, but because he was traveling, um, extended the invitation to me to represent the community at the meeting. Um, it was uh, Lane Gray at the city who invited Darren and is including him um, on this planning it's side of things. Lane, Lane Gray, the contractor. Uh -huh. The project manager. Project manager. Project manager. Yeah. 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 Tank. He works for the city. He works for the city. Oh, okay. And it will yeah. work successfully for anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so present at the meeting were uh, Lane Gray and then also several other city employees uh, with water, um, and actually um, Quinn's boss, not your, not you, Quinn, but the Quinn who took us around um, to see all the water infrastructure. Who is boss. now? Uh, what's I, the, I didn't write down. Who's the new water guy? So bad. Oh, it took, that it took, it took Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Okay. Okay. Uh, But he was there, and he okay. wanted to know how our tour went. And we talked about that. And so he was there, um, and then several of the other engineers, and, and I don't know about planners, but the engineers and, and people who were interested in the different aspects of building the tank and the actual park and the sidewalks and things like that. And then also the contractor that they hired to actually build it. And so she was presenting this plan and then asking for feedback. So this is what they've come up with so far. Um, you can see that uh, the tank itself is huge. Yeah. It takes the vast majority of the park, but they are going to bury it. But now, now we know what the big tank looks How like. big these things are. Yeah. So it's a 10 million gallon, I think. What? I think we saw 20 million. Yeah, we saw a 20 and a 15 up there, right, right. I think. And this is a 10, so it's a little smaller than those, but still giant. They've decided to bury it. Um, there were, yeah, there was a lot of advantages to burying it versus the only disadvantage was the price. And they felt like with the, the money as cheap as it was when they got it funded, that it was worth it. So that's the plan. Um, and then what you see here that looks like an apple, the leaves and everything, that's decorative gravel that will be over the top. So 
Only someone with a drone or a helicopter will be able to actually see that it looks like an apple. Will people be able to walk on it? The plan for now is not to have it completely fenced like the okay. one that we saw in Sandy, but rather that people could actually walk on the gravel, but there will be certain places that will have to be fenced because of security reasons. So you'll walk around and there'll be um, fencing around certain like structures. Um, and then also what you can see here, the kind of uh, gray line around the outside, that is a walkway that is wide enough that they can also drive like, city vehicles um, around there for maintenance purposes and things like that. Um, the plan for now is that this kind of red stippled area right on course south on the northern side of the park is going to be the um, water wise landscaping oh. and educational sort of area. Nice. So <clears throat> they really wanted our ideas. I gave them all the ones that we had in our brainstorm from the, the visiting and, and what Darren had written in the emails that we were all part of. Um, they were particularly uh, excited about the ideas for the like signage, the educational signage, and put the QR codes. Mm -hmm. They really liked that idea um, to like kind of minimize text, but to maximize information for those who are most interested. So I think that that will actually happen. Um, the I, I really wish I could remember her name, but the the designer contractor who was doing the presentation has actually been on a lot of these kind of projects before and has done water-wise landscaping and informational nice. stuff before. She was nice. very familiar with the conservation oh, garden great. up in Jordan. She, of course, was familiar with Sayo Lily as well. She showed us pictures of different ones that she's done up in the Salt Lake area um, with uh, different types of the, I don't know if you guys remember the, the different grasses but she's done that sort of thing before mm -hmm. she's used a lot of those native grasses before the really low water the city's very interested in that because you can yes. have the nice turf in the park but not water it very much mm -hmm. so I, I, I would love something like uh you know demonstration grasses mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be so cool. and <laughs> they also yeah liked the idea of having some sort of demonstration whether it was flip your strip or the grasses or both just depending on the space and how they can use it. But they like all those ideas. Also, like how to set up a um, space watering sort of area and things like that. Um, in the back, the back two corners, you'll notice that there are like some trees and it says educational play area. Um, I put out the idea of um, maybe including some of the signage and educational sort of water wise or you know, uh, kid-related water cycle things that we could put back there. And again, she was like, oh, I've done that sort of stuff. And she showed us a bunch of things that she's done. So she said, yeah, that's all very possible. We can definitely make that happen. Um, and by the way, everyone at, at the meeting from the city was also on board. I did not get any negative feedback on any of those ideas. That's great. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think if there was anything else that would concern uh, us. The the idea is to have that cabin that was in, that made the news oh, and everything. Yeah. That, that cabin is one cool. of these little boxes up cool. in the corner there. So around oh, that it. might be like local skate vegetation mm -hmm. as well. Cool. Um, this over here is probably going to have like a pump house and, and like some city parking and maybe also some park parking like people who are using the park, but they're not 100% sure exactly how that will all come together. They're worried about how to build that cabin. <laughs> By the way, there was a lot of discussion about that. Yeah. Um, is, 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 is there parking on? Or south. I'm not sure really where it is. I street. don't believe so. There's on street. There's on street. Yeah. Well, because I go there for softball games all the time. If there's not, I'd be fine. There's also this um, property that's just to the uh, west of the park. I read it here. And at the time of the meeting, it was for sale. And there was actually some discussion there as whether or not the, the city might be buying that and extending. But I don't know if that happens and if it's just a personal or anything. 
this one right over here. Uh, this one right over here. Um, yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Do you have any updates for planning? Either of you from planning commission on this? In terms of timeline or? The Two months, so about another month. What is the drill for? They're they're doing the well, so that's the one house. They're doing well. Yeah. So that's, that's the only thing they have. That they have their big stand walls up. A separate well, or so designed to pump house. pump from the tank. It's to a separate well. Okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So I don't know anything about any of this stuff. Um, the QR codes for the educational part, is that going to go in that, that would be on the city page or that would be on some other environmental thing? Well, we would have to figure out how to host that. I would imagine that the city would want to be able to control that. Okay. So I imagine so. And then maybe through the library or something like that. And this is kind of random, but the 10 million gallon thing, like, so that is to store water for or mm -hmm. or Mm -hmm. And then, if there's no earthquake, <laughs> like mm -hmm. I'm assuming, mm -hmm. like the neighborhood is not gonna flood because yeah. all of them are there. Yeah, so all that place. Yeah, all that's been accounted for. Yeah. So that I, I was assuming, but I'm so this is question. replacing a couple other ones that need to be replaced, and they're throughout the city already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we also learned in our tour that some of the central. Utah Conservancy District, the ones that are on the hill, mm -hmm. um, they service Orem, but also a lot of other communities, mm -hmm. and they would like to lean Orem off of theirs, and Orem is like being more independent. And so that's part of this. That's the idea. <laughs> okay, and then this is for Central Orem? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know exactly what that is. Oh. That it serves? Yeah. 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 It's, it's all part of also keeping the water pressure of the system in play. And you know, when we talk about storage, it's not long term storage, it's these tanks will empty during peak usage daily. Wow. And yeah, it's refilled at night. Wow. Oh, wow. So, so that's the needs of water. You, you use wow. a lot of water. Okay. That and that makes ones up on the sense. hill empty daily during peak usage. The one that's by this. So, you know, cities use them. I noticed this week, I don't know if any of you noticed, that, that my water was yellow, you know, the tap. Oh, oh really? I don't know what it is. But it, 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 it made me think that it was one of those. The bottom of the barrel. I don't know. Today it's clear. Yeah. Huh. Yesterday it was only a run some sedimentation. Yeah, high water days and it's something to do. So it's better to drink water in the morning. It's all <laughs> it's all good drinks. Just <laughs> full discoloration. Yeah, no extra minerals. I did have a question. Uh, did anybody mention any concern? This is a large area of area concern about um, urban development. That was one thing. They did not. Discuss that. So I don't know. That's going to be a little plant. Yeah. Not anything substantial that would actually generate shade. Well, so let's grab Could they do like containers? Could they do large containers or they just don't want to put too much on top? I think container trees are not going to change their anatomy. But I mean, that could be suggested if they are going to have to drip or irrigate that somehow. I assume some of the gravel will be like Yeah. Oh, there's Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think that whoever came up with the idea of having an orchard this week, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's good. I want to do this in my yard. Yeah. yeah. I, um, my current idea of looking over my lawn at my house, which is about half brown. Depending on the shade, mm -hmm. is just to take out all the brown and turn it into 
something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And just go where nature wants to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a weird one. Looks <laughs> 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 great. Thanks, Paul, for your work. On yeah. That. Uh, yeah. Thank you for representing our interests as well. Yeah. 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 It was my pleasure. It was very informative. Do you have a sense of, of where we might still need to plug in? I did ask that, um, and uh, this the the plan will continue to probably evolve as different things take shape. So I imagine there will be future meetings similar to this one with the plan um, with, with the contractor um, that I believe um, Darren will probably get the initial invite to. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to keep us in. I think there are a number of us that would probably like to attend mm -hmm. our official meetings. I suspect that the earlier input we have, the better. Yeah. Uh, I'm pleased with how it looks on yeah, paper. Yeah. And I really like the fact that our trees all around us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they did talk about what kind of trees they wanted to use. There was some long discussion about that, but no decisions made. They want to make or maximum shade, minimum uh, water. Yeah, minimum water, minimum um, mess. Oh, right. So they didn't want like any messy fruit, fruit sort of things. <laughs> you know, they, they talked about certain pear trees, for example. <laughs> Lots of mess. <laughs> you know, like, they're going to try to minimize that. Also, stink beans. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Flowering pears. <laughs> minimize those. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. female ginkgo trees. Yeah. <laughs> Different types, of gravel. different types of gravel on the actual circle. Everything else around it will not be gravel. I'm wondering, I, I can't quite get my mind around how long this do that loop. It, it, it looks like people can go on gravel or not. The idea is that they will be able to, yes. Um, they will be able to walk around on the gravel, um, minus certain spots where they've got Access to the tank. This looks maybe like a like a seventh mile loop or something. That's um, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to look yeah. at the scale. And the reason it's gravel is because you can't gravel the tank. Yeah. yeah, they want to minimize the um, weight on the top of it. Um, so shallow gravel is better than lots of soil for growing things. Thanks for bringing this to the maps. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm glad that they could get me. Uh, we have a Utah Valley Growth and Prosperity Summit. Would you like to do that? Oh, sorry. Did you want to talk about our Valley Conservation? Uh, no, it's okay. Just to dream that I went to the Hutchings Museum and met with the director, and she's coming up. Well, sure they have the pollinator butterfly garden. Like you can get certified as a monarch garden, which they are at the Hutchings Museum. It's kind of grow. It's like a little one. I recommend like, it actually. It's like a, is it is it a converted house? I'm trying to remember. It's a converted like not a house. Something large. Something. Okay. And they have this like big addition coming up. It's <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, okay. But Matt was suggesting that great dream. Let's next time we have the opportunity. Yeah. Maybe. Right. It doesn't require too much space, right? No, it doesn't. But it requires someone who does Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's about a quarter mile loop. Quarter mile loop? Well, that's, that's better than bigger than that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, take care of the plants. Oh, no, the butterflies will do their thing. Okay. You just have to have good milk. You can do it in your yeah, there's a lot of it around. It's not hard to take care of this. Yeah, you have to like. <laughs> Two at the city would ultimately be responsible for a butterfly house. Well, I think the first thing is okay, you gotta create a habitat. And so that's kind of all the perks of work. And then, you know, I don't know, there may be other sites that are more parks, but you know, Nielsen's borough becomes. Yeah. Seems to come to the forefront of my mind. Um, so, you know, assuming that it's in a park, I think the park department has to take on maintenance of any other facility. Yeah. Butterfly and so on, I think, rather. No, just the habitat. 
Yeah, the ha habitat, and we just, so I think we, it'd be best to start a dialogue with yeah. you know, the Parks Department about that, and if there's any room in their mind for this type of project. Uh, after, if they're open to that idea, then, you know, then it's an issue of any type of funding source yeah. for the renovation. And maybe a small amount of money, maybe more than I think it is, because... It could be cool over by the all-together part. They have, like, a little garden. It's probably the big mm -hmm. And they have flowers. Yeah, yeah and I suppose scale is still sort of, you know, yeah. a question, too. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking things up throughout the whole park, and you're thinking the size of a boardroom table. So yeah. 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 yeah, that makes a difference. Yeah, makes That's true, that. Oh, that was right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think it's just starting a discussion. Okay. Yeah, well, it's something we can have. But maybe it's also something that we do on social media, which I learned that I need some accountability on, since we didn't meet last month, and I didn't <laughs> right. do anything. So when we get to that agenda item, sorry. But maybe it's something that I can say later, just to encourage more people to have mm -hmm. I like the idea of having it but in the altogether or next to the altogether because yeah. school groups go there mm -hmm. and they could easily like go around and we have like yeah, simple that. signage or whatever yeah. talking about butterflies and you know? it's a great kids do butterfly life cycle units for yeah. the time they're in kindergarten mm -hmm. right so it would be really fun for them during the spring and summer to actually see mm -hmm. some of the different life stages i you know i'm not suggesting it would be you know, a major kind of time but some type of Con semi concrete plan of what you want to do. Sky, mm -hmm. scale, location, mm -hmm. you know, estimated number of plants that need to be installed. Mm -hmm. I mean, just some back the napkin type numbers right. or ideas, but if you don't have that, I think it's hard for yeah. whoever we talk to to have a sense of yeah. what you're really trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, so, when I get arrested measuring that space. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to uh, ask you to be the point person for this. Okay. So if you would like to pursue it, feel free to okay. help uh, ask for help. Yeah. Um, but if you if you could decide how and when you would like to pursue it. <coughs> so I do have a new garden in Georgia. Nice. And that stuff, so oh, nice. you'd be welcome to talk to you about that. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, the woman at the Hutchins Museum is the director. I was going to say someone named that. But yeah, she has some really good resources. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sarah? Sure. Um, so, the Utah Valley Growth and Prosperity Task Force, um, we have been, we've had a couple of meetings with the larger task force group, um, and that has representatives from all over the county, different industries. Um, anyway, we have, we're planning for the summit this fall, which is gonna be at UVU on October 27th, Thursday. Um, we'll probably have, you know, like an opening welcome by President Tunez, and then um, the, yeah, the opening plenary session, I think it's just kind of a general session at this point. Um, then we'll have three hours of breakout sessions with two concurrent um, classrooms to choose from. And the different topics are like um, business environment, um, uh, education and workforce development, um, healthcare, natural resources, housing gap, and transportation. Um, so obviously a lot of those kind of overlap with our interests. Um, and then we'll have a closing plenary um, lunch with the governors, um, Cox and Herbert, and if that's the plan. So it has been exciting that this will be a, an ongoing summit every year. And in the meantime, we're, we've also been talking about metric, metrics of success um, and identifying in these different, six different categories, like how are we going to measure them over the year. Um, any progress in that kind of thing. So, trying to hold ourselves accountable, and you know, we'll plan to share those metrics every year and present the summit. Um, we'll keep track of that. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, other than attending, I have a coach. Yes. Like, and uh, the link is live all the time. And it's Thursday? Like, it's a Thursday. Yeah, it's like from like 8.30 to 3. Okay. And breakfast and lunch. Um, that's great. Is that anything that we need to do to contribute? Um, again, just, you know, encourage people to sign up. If you can go, great. If you can't, pass word along. The more we get people talking about um, you know, all of these issues on our growth and how we can maintain our quality of life together. Um, there might be a, a, an entire separate section um, session that's on Utah Lake, and they were thinking they would have a couple of representatives um, advocating for both sides of the Lake Island issue. Um, and yeah, so there was probably going to be like one entire session on Road Lake. Anyway, so yeah, just having these conversations regularly and helping you know to measure our progress and get thinking about that. Um, okay. Yeah. It's, Do they anticipate the um, anti-prosperity protests or anti-growth? I protests? don't think they're anticipating any protests at this point. But I'll <laughs> let you know. <laughs> um, yeah, the the conversation behind the scenes is. You know, we recognize that there are some people who are like, no more growth. And it's like, you know, because you didn't see, you know, um, to one of the commissioners, she's like, um, yeah, Commissioner Kern. I was like, you can say one of them. Yeah, she, she. <laughs> um, but she was, you know, that was something that she sees where, you know, you have some people who are like, you know, stop the growth. And she's like, the growth is coming. Yeah. Like, we just, how do we want to plan for that? Mm -hmm. um, and so, so a lot of people do recognize that there are those challenges. Different people have the different perspectives on that, but we do need to have those pragmatic conversations about mm -hmm. what we need about water and how, how we're going to spend these and maintain our quality of life. So, um, anyway, well, I put an agenda item on here to get an update on Utah Lake uh, yes. Authority, but since we have. <laughs> A uh, celebrity, Utah yeah, celebrity with us. It's true. That's me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, tell um, us uh, all about this. This is so exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah, it was by some stroke of, I don't know, chance that I was appointed to the Utah Lake Authority Board. It's very, I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, at UVU, I've been kind of loud about we need to do more on um, sustainability stuff. Um, I have President's ear on that, and so I don't know if she, I don't know how it happened. She and Mel Peterson recommended me for the board, and, and now I'm on it. I'm one of the few non elected officials. Curtis Blair is on it, okay. the yeah. chair of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, so I was formally appointed by the governor. Who, who, who is on it? Oh, let me pull my calendar in. <laughs> It's a 15 member board, and I think seven or eight are city, city yeah. elected city. So for forum, it's Carrie Peterson, is that his name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The city council mm -hmm. person. Thank you. I'm not on as a forum person. I don't know. I'm on as I don't know, a governor appointee. Yeah. I wonder how Carrie ended up on that. Right. I think cities chose who they. I don't know. The mayor chose it. I'm guessing, yeah, because the mayor of Provo is on it and the mayor of Vineyard are on it. Vineyard are on it. Um, Kushner Lee. Brady Kushner Lee. Hang on, Kushner Lee. That's the last Right, but it hasn't taken place yet, right? Change of no, no, no. It'll be January. Yeah, so it'll be replaced. Um, yeah, it's. People from Linden City, Saratoga, yeah, basically cities, and then me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it was really, um, it was a surprise to me. I didn't know. I got a random email like, this is, um, from the governor's office. <laughs> I thought it was about this other role that I have with faculty senate stuff. Cause I'm also doing some of the state state work level stuff with that. So I'm like, oh, I want to have faculty senate or something. 
and I'm like, I'm sure you've been, you know, you've been nominated. I was like, I don't know, <laughs> but I gladly accept. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, um, I don't really know what to expect. I'm really excited to be part of the decision making process for the lake. Can you start in meeting when we meet? The 21st. The first, the first time. First time. Okay. Who chairs yeah. it? I don't know who chairs it. There is staff. I think oh, Eric from Eric the Alice, yeah. lake commission is still a good staff. But Okay. I don't know that for sure yet. I'll find out. Okay. And there were, I'm sure there are like going to be recorded meetings, I would guess, public mm -hmm. meetings. I have a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, yeah, very excited to offer a view mm -hmm. like more maybe it's a scientific way of form. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm a professor in earth science. I'm a geographer by training, so I kind of sit in the middle of natural science, social science, kind of deep in both. So I understand the kind of political part of it, and I know enough of the science. I know who that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, and it's like a service. And it's like a three year. Yeah. 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 But I was hoping that we could, um, based on our previous water conversation, um, understand better where we are on the metering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was wondering about that too, the smart metering. Um, do either of our planners know? No. I think if they roll it out over time, as they have the past two, Last, the last I heard, which was really in the winter, uh, they didn't have the towers set to collect signals from them. So they were not in a rush. That has come through that the plans for those have all been approved to come through. I don't know when they're planning that, if they've started doing that or when they're planning on starting. I know they have all the plans. This makes me think that I need to get my mind again around who the Army Water person is. Um, he, he, he was in public works, right? I mean, he's, is it? It's Reed. Reed Price. Reed Price. Yeah, I'm not trying. It's Reed. It's Reed. Um, okay. Well, I'll, I'll reach out to Reed and just ask what that has. We don't have a quick enough date. It seems like it would be a really lovely year to be able to have kind of that in place. Is there a way to like check how much water we use this year compared to last year? Yeah. Three. That could be like kind of cool. See if people are actually changing. I think I think that would be great to know. Um, they reported last year a savings and a reduction in use. And so I'm sure they can do that. Like that'd be kind of like a hopeful way to talk yeah. about water conservation instead of just like. Did they post about that? Yeah, I don't know where. But <laughs> yeah, I think I remember seeing it somewhere on social media cool. where Warren said, "Hey, great news! Look at now we come yeah. together and we, like last year." No, like like a few months ago. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's been fairly recent. I think it may yeah. have been in the city um, newsletter, maybe. but yeah. yeah, I mean. They have the ability to track the overall usage. And it was, again, positive spin of like, hey, great, yeah. we worked together and right. we reduced our water use by this much. Yeah. I think they can sell those water, like water things again. Oh, the barrels? Uh, the barrels? Probably. It was, I have to get funding again. But yeah. well, we did uh, get all of them that we subsidized out, right? Yeah. More. More than we subsidized. Yeah, so a number early. All the subsidized ones plus ones that sold at the unsubsidized rate. I can email for exactly. Yeah. 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 Ye
with the Orem residents that, that bought the additional ones? No, we tried to buy one resident. No, no, actually. Okay. They collected all the information. I, I don't actually have the information. Mm -hmm. I think that would be great yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if we could get that information because, especially if we do it again, yeah. then we would to be able to advertise. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't well, let someone else catch your radio. One thing I, I, I had thought of that the thing we could do is, is coming to you is I think people are feeling the heat and their mm -hmm. lawns are feeling a little dry and I'm wondering if uh, we could have a July and August yeah. social media messaging on this. Yeah. Um, I think we could link to the the weekly planning or whatever. What the, the weekly watering guide. The weekly yeah. watering guide. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We need to link to Slow the Flow. Okay. Yeah. It, it, where's the weekly one? Guys, I don't slow the flow. It's on the state. It's on the state. Let me. Yeah, it's on. Uh, yeah, it's on the conserve.utah.gov. Conservewater.utah.gov. Is that the one where they have the, like, the story stories? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I love seeing that. It yeah. just makes it so easy. Makes it easy. Like, yeah. you just look at it and you're like, oh, three waterings this week. Okay. Yeah. That's like maps. Um, so it's this weekly one, uh, the watering guide, and if you scroll down, it does a map for Light County, how many times you water, and then it explains what it means by one watering, what type of sprinkler you have, how long you run it. It's on uh, conservewater.utah.gov slash weekly. Weekly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekly lawn watering guide. <laughs> so, but if you just type in um, weekly lawn watering guide Utah, it'll. I you know it takes more energy to do this, but um, yeah, like in years past, I thought it would be great because again, as I go around the city and I see examples of like, water wise landscaping, it's like, wow, you know, these people are trying to demonstrate that you can have a very welcoming space. Um, and so I've seen like little bits around the city and it would be cool if there are people who And again I started to do that and then things kind of fell apart. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a thing that we wanted the beautification committee, right? Oh, yeah. some of the, like, we're, we're doing that. I'm awesome. here. So I'm I'm gonna go to their meeting next month. Nice. We're up. So Matt can uh, uh, who's in charge of that agenda for office the beautification? Who, who will publish it? I, I'm just wondering if it, I, I think you were the one that reached out to me yeah. saying that they want to talk about it in August. I just want to make sure it doesn't get dropped from the agenda. Let me see if I can find it. So, then that last um, early May, May 18th. Um, they said quarterly, so that's going to be. Well, the minimum age went to the very end of August. It's the 29th at 4.30, so yeah, it's probably tough. Um, Reed Price is coordinating that meeting, and his secretary is sitting at the engine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nothing. I was just looking at that too. <laughs> uh, I think that's a great idea to just link to the water guy. I, I noticed uh, that the LDS Church came out with new water guidelines yeah. uh, mm -hmm. for the summer to say we're going to water well. Are they only really speaking? So, watering guide for the summer, but then they also, uh, they also said we can do better than that. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. so like for their I can't tell. They, I thought it was big as to whether they would. Change it just when I was speaking, where they would just take it into more account. Who I was speaking to, yeah. um, I guess that's a, that's a hopeful side. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got some push from our visitor last time uh, on schools as well. Mm -hmm. 
I was in London for the Fourth of July. That's why I'm, I'm on the list. And the way that the city there has resonated with this is that they prioritize agricultural water in the communities, and so no residence is allowed to water the communities. Oh, you can only water in the middle of the day. Oh, really? Um, from, from six p.m. to six a.m. Residential wow. watering. Which I thought was extremely bizarre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess they're prioritizing their cultural water. I mean, you hear of other places having water restrictions, but like, water just opened up. You know, a lot of water. I know, but we need to do our part. I agree. Yeah. I, I, I'm so worried about the case. Yeah, I know. Historically, we have to go yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Utah Lake, too. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we will be able to help us. I'm going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity slash superhero. <laughs> no, <it's not> <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to help from us on that for those who need me to post? Oh, no, it's fine. Right. So, what media posts are you going to share? So if you see ones that are kind of like environmentally based on forums, on that website, okay. I just send them to the website. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you notice, uh, it's a very high quality creativity. Mm -hmm. It's fun. <laughs> um, on the agenda, we had uh, a discussion of action transport proposals. I don't have a lot to say here. I know. Uh, that you all your are your person on that. Is there anything you want to talk about there? I don't have anything new there, although I was thinking about it a lot today, actually, because the Salt Lake Tribune had an article on um, electric bike sales going through the roof right now. And I was like, man, if we had a little bit better bike infrastructure in Warren, I wonder what we could make happen. <laughs> so I don't know. We, I need to maybe talk again with the Warm Bike Coalition, and and also just I don't know. We had a meeting last year where they brought us like basically the results of a survey. I don't know if anyone remembers this mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. like what Warm yeah. residents want. Warm. One of them was more bike trails. Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't know what's been done with that. If anything, I know that we don't, our, our active transport plan is now 12 years old. It's maybe even older than that. It was Jerry Washburn, was mayor. Oh, if that wow. gives you an idea. Yeah. When, it was last, when we last had an active transport plan approved by the council. So I don't, mm. I don't know. And how often they move it, away. Well, I, I thought that the, the survey was part of the plan to like update it and make a new one, but I don't know where we got there. I think last year, is it last year what was the last time we talked with the engineers? The, 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 the folks who shared with us where they were. Yeah, yeah, they were city engineers. I, I'm wondering if I'm not interested in perspective on this. Is now a good time to try to meet with them again? Look, it's the city engineers with the active transport, like um, painting bike lanes. Oh, and no, it's not a good time. Because they're no, going to be doing anything with that this year. So the politics are such that I'm actually the point person for active transportation and bike Okay. Oh, so, well, that's good to know. Uh, but, so you talk what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, we we'll, we won't be updating the right plan for the time being. That's not my goal list for the year, but uh, just to hold off on that for a little bit. Can you give us a little more context? Just not the right political environment. 
Uh, you know, I have two degrees of separation between me and, and your elected officials. I, I cannot articulate exactly their sentiments or the worry. It trickles down to me that saying we're postponing it because of timing. Yeah. Leave it at that. Well, there are things we can do despite that. Um, we have talked about a tour de forum and a uh, series of events. The orb is probably too big to bike in one morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing that I would be very fond of and that I would love to participate in is if we had a series of, I mean, we work with the Bike Coalition to have like a series of four bike tours born. And this would be different than the last one we went on, which was. Uh, uh, kind of a, a big square looking at some of the five more places. Mm -hmm. This would be more getting to know the city. So maybe like we do a northwest, a northeast, a southwest, southeast, or something like that. Um, where we we just do a tour of different parts of Orem and advertise as get out on your bike, learn about bike transport in Orem, get to know, you know parts of the city, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and if you wanted to co-sponsor that with the bike coalition or something like that, that would be interesting. Yeah. It would require energy on our part if we had it. Right. Yeah, I can reach out to them and, and see if they've got something already. Oftentimes they've, they've got these like plans to do these uh, types of rides already, so I can reach out to them and, and see if they do. And if they don't, if, if they would help me plan something. Really fun. So I enjoyed that. Very hot right now, but yeah. <laughs> we can start planning now for when it's I mean, uh, I'm wondering if, we're, if we do fall. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, September, October, those are yeah. nice times of like, you know, compared to it now. It's, it's, it's partly that <laughs> I, I, I am trying to mix up my own active transport by exploring places that I don't know about. Yeah. yeah. You just makes it intellectually interesting. Mm -hmm. and go places that you don't know as well. Um, maybe that's something to do, but thanks for that update. Yeah. Um, I am a, a bit dismayed, and I, you know, I'm certainly not part of the solution, but I'm a bit dismayed that I see so few bikers. Mm -hmm. Although I will be in the market for events. Um, mm -hmm. one of those. I know, I'm, I keep looking at it, and I'm like, hey, you know, especially with that hill by me. You know, yeah, I exactly. love riding down it, I hate riding up <laughs> <laughs> it's a game changer again for those people who, you know, might buy it were just a little bit easier. Yeah. And then that's another car off the road. Mm -hmm. so. I, I did receive a voicemail a week ago or so ago. I didn't follow up on from someone uh, looking from my perspective on a potentially designated car to go road as a bike trail. Mm -hmm. or, it's a little bit close to buy that would be yeah. great. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll follow up on that part of it. Um, she reached out to Tom McDonald to me and let's see if there's something we can do there. Okay, we just, we've got a few minutes, and uh, let's just kind of go around and any other updates in terms of your part of our collective stewardship. Uh, Sarah, is there anything else? Um, I know on? that um, I already reported back about the free swap during the spring cleanup. Um, and I have an email out to Brian and Christy um, with the city. They were the ones I worked with before to coordinate the free swap for the, the spring cleanup. And so I, you know, I said, here's a little bit of feedback. Actually, no, I never sent that because I was going to send photos and I never sent it. I'm like looking for my email. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send that email um, with you know our feedback from our end, and then you know see if they had any feedback from the city side of things, um, and then propose doing that again for the fall cleanup. The fall cleanup isn't as big as the spring cleanup, but they seem to be making it kind of more of a regular thing. So if we can combine that uh, for the fall cleanup. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can't remember. I think it's October. Um, so the having another event in the fall is a good time because people are getting out their coats, their boots, and finding out that the kids have outgrown them so they can pass those along. Um, and then get to see them. Um, some people go Christmas shopping at the free stop in the fall. So um, anyway, so when I send that email, hopefully I will let you know when I hear back. <laughs> and remind us how you felt about the screen. Uh, there were a couple of glitches that I would like to talk to the city about and see if there might be a, a way for them to support a little bit more. Um, overall, it was, I mean, as far as the attendance, Again, there were about 600, 650 people who attended, um, and that was good. Lots the central of central good. It, yeah, it does. Yeah. The, the, the glitches that we couldn't do anything about were um, it was really cold and windy in the morning, and then it was windy at the end, and so as we're cleaning up, and it was blowing styrofoam peanuts everywhere. Was, so that was fun. Um, but our main challenge is transporting stuff at the end. We don't. We had one guy with a truck, and he took like four loads. Mm -hmm. So it's the, it's the transportation of you know just the leftovers that I don't have the ability to do that. Was, so, was this a city person or a? No, it was a it was just an on-site volunteer that just showed up. Now we did have some help. Um, they were able to get somebody who was at the dumpsters who had like the big like you know bucket whatever tractors. Mm -hmm. um, um, at one point, they came over a couple of times. They came over at the end, and for larger items that we couldn't, you know, they we kind of tipped it into the bucket, and then they drove it over to the dumpsters. And so that was helpful. That was helpful. So we did get city support on, on some of those bigger items that we weren't going to be able to do anything with. Um, but as far as that one was at Palisade. Um, so, but then like the other stuff. Um, we just had to look. We didn't have enough volunteers. That was the problem. It was a new location, a different day, so we were short on volunteers, and we we always struggle with finding cargo space for, it, especially for the large items. Anyway, but we'll see. Okay. I think it's worth continuing to have those conversations. Paul, anything else you want to talk to? Um, I'm trying to remember, have I reported on the Earth Day booth? I haven't. Okay. So, great success, as you can see. Um, Was this week? Yeah, yeah, we met Noel we met, no, 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 <laughs> at the uh, Earth Day booth. Um, so, it was also an incredible day. Yeah. Um, and this the, was the postponement, right? Yes. Yeah, so, it wasn't, yeah. yeah. It was raining the week before. It was raining the week before, so we had it the, the week after, and um, it was still coordinated with the kindness committee's activities right. within the pavilion there. And so, um, Matt helped me set everything up. That was great. We had to use some. Uh, <laughs> a little blustering. Yep, yep. <laughs> we had to be a little bit clever <laughs> to keep, of, um, keep things in place. Tacking tape. Yeah, there was a lot of tape <laughs> used. Uh, yep. <laughs> anchored everything to the uh, tent. Yeah. 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 But it worked. Yeah, it yeah. did. Nothing blew away in the end. <laughs> so, yeah, that was good. Um, I think that probably maybe about. One to two hundred people showed up to do the activities oh, okay. in the in the pavilion, yeah. um, mostly kids. Um, and we had set up kind of right where you, if you parked next to the playground, you <laughs> had to walk past our booth <laughs> to get to the pavilion. And so I got to talk to um, you know dozen or a couple dozen people that actually stopped and wanted to you know ask or, or take a flyer or something. Yeah, so. Um, it wasn't like crazy, you know. I had a lot of a lot of downtime to talk to the the city um, enforcement guy that was next mm -hmm. to me. Uh, he also yeah. had a booth, <laughs> <laughs> so I learned a lot about city code and how they enforce that and everything. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, we also had some interested <laughs> citizens who who took some flyers and uh, learned a little bit about our. Well, team. and that was the first time that I think the city. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, and I think the fact that it got canceled and then yeah, moved, and exactly. I, I think that lowered turnout as well. But you, you may want to yeah. follow up on if you if you're interested in seeing something like that continue, you may want to follow up early next year on that yeah. because the lead on that what I forget the name that she was Miss Warren. Glory Tom. Glory Tom. So as her interests in life pursuits. You know, the champion of it moves on and, and, and then it gets lost in the cracks. So, yeah. you know, so. you might want to follow up to see if other groups are going to keep that going or or this group keeps it going. Or... <laughs> Excuse me. Well, that's, that's my daughter. <laughs> oh, okay. And she's actually the chair of the ring. Right. And I'm on that panel as well. Okay. So, there you go. Um, I can tell you that she, she was not this one. Year. So she's been on that committee. They asked her to run the centennial kind of committee and then it morphed into this. So I don't see there's a whole lot of plans for her exiting out of that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this fetch since she's been involved in that, so two thousand fifteen. Yes, do it again next year, come again. Yeah. <laughs> Do you anticipate any events that we would like to host in the next couple of months? I need to start maybe reaching out to the Crandalls or something like that to see if there's any interest in. We we talked about like a like a, a orchard place. crawl or an orchard crawl yeah. or something yeah. like that where we could maybe go to. I would love if, if that would be start planning an orchard crawl now. Yeah. yeah. Jen, I would like. Oh, I, I want to do an orchard crawl. There, there were. I noticed maybe one or two people or booths at the um, farmers market that mm -hmm. were advertising that they were local in, in the, the in right. the context of Warren. Yeah, pro orchard. Oh. Right. So like, if they, yeah, if I like just a there. couple of them. It's so, close to the other one too. Yeah. Is there? And I don't know. I haven't been to that. Market very often, but is there a something that you could create that would say an forum local or something like a local produce something yeah, for the cool. local markets or whatever to display because that is kind of moving. It you know, is. Yeah. It's right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, anyway, just an option. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And does Crandall's do a booth later in the year at the mm -hmm. market? Go. I think you can go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got their own like thing at their orchard. But I was wondering if they go to the farm. I can't remember. So bikes, mm -hmm. you know, bike tour. Mm -hmm. um, we can we can even think about a hike if we wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, particularly, if we can set up that for the And then I think an orchard crawl would probably be late October. When would that be October? October sometime. Yeah. Um, and maybe we could start this this year. We could just start with four, which I think, mm -hmm. and just um, help sponsor. You know, this idea that you know, from six p.m. to eight p.m. Right, these four orchards will be open and sharing. You know, pretty side of the And and if you like, we will have we will have a. Um, People leading bikes there from the city office. Yeah, that would be six o'clock. Yeah. Because it's in their interest, of course, for people to know what they do and mm -hmm. to value those orchards. Well, and again, you know, reinforcing this connection and what we're building with the mm -hmm. Heritage mm -hmm. Park and connecting back to that orchard's mm -hmm. identity. Anything else on your agenda? No, um, I was gonna do some pollinator posts maybe this year. Yeah, water conservation. But I think. Do some and anything else that would be 
solar protecting the LED. I'm sure they'll be in our yard or Darren's, I guess. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them. Yeah, Darren's yard is better than Darren's yard. Darren did a nice job. Yeah, it's I mean, very the, 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 the challenge, of course, is he spent a lot of money. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and and it's kind of scared me. Yeah. You did have a great part. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I ordered a book that's arriving today that is how to go to Iran. I'm going to get up. Maybe that would be fun to do, like, at the library, though. Like, it was a yeah. conversation night about. Not just about that, but like, how do you water conserve? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking of maybe first finding wild, wildflowers in certain parts. Well, you will learn and share the wisdom that you know. Well, I think we're going to figure it out. Well, Hillary's worth a number. Okay. Thank you for being uh, on top of that session. Well, I haven't. I'm sorry. I learned I need some time. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're we're out of time. I have um, the, next month we are meeting um, on August fourth. Um, is there anyone who knows that will be absent? Oh, that's, that's what you said. That you I can join by Zoom. So I will need to join by Zoom. I will be in Norway. Oh. Um, my my wife has been in Norway for. She's been in the past 30 months. Yeah, and I am going to bring my children to for the last couple of weeks. Um, I am learning a lot as a single parent. It's really been a very, edu very, very educational <laughs> education. Um, uh, but I will zoom in from Norway. Oh, we'll have zoom in. Yeah, we can, we can have the zoom in. And I know that Darren will be back. But, uh, if you do have agenda items that you'd like to put on our uh, August calendar, um, would you should we know? I'll, I'll also. Do you want me to reach out to Darren for the agenda for August? No. no we'll just, it, it, um, Paul's actually the vice chair. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I I still have a duty to do the agenda. I'm, I'm going to Uh, we have minutes to uh, approve. Uh, thank you for sending those along. One question I had about the minutes um, is the quick here for recording. Is that for the recording of the whole meeting? It's, if it takes you to that meeting. Mm, no, I, I just had to ask if it takes you to the whole meeting. So you, for example, in meetings in minutes, you have clicker for recording at approval minutes and clicker for recording at adjourn. Uh, but that's fine. Um, I just was wondering if it would be a for recording. No, it's a whole meeting. I, I will go and talk to the it takes you to the right meeting. For, for the different sections of minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about? That would be great, um, but it's, it's it's not necessary. I thought minutes were good. Mm -hmm. We even have minutes for our water tour. I know, I saw that. Oh, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Matt. And, um, if, if I could sign them before I leave. Um, we have minutes for May 5th, and we have minutes for April 14th. Do I would we like, need to do separate approval or motions? I would like, no. I'd like to motion to approve the minutes for those two dates. Second. All in favor of approval of minutes? Aye. 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 Uh, any yeah. The minutes have uh, been approved. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? <laughs> <laughs> and I will second. Uh, Hillary. Uh, all in favor of adjournment <laughs> until August 4th. Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thanks. Aye. Sorry we went over a little bit. Um, yeah, I know that that's it. I've, I've looked at it a lot. What happens when we miss meetings, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I have a, a weird FYI. Oh wait, we're not still recording. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, we're not recording. <laughs>